and some of the literature has talked about this is it is basically a more activated product compared to the microfragmented adipose tissue. We can then take that micro fat and we can process it down even further into what's called nano fragmented adipose tissue. This is where we mechanically bring it down to between 400 and 600 micrometers to remove the mature adipocytes, but we retain the extracellular matrix, the adipose derived stromal cells, and the growth factors. The way that some researchers and some of the literature has talked about this is it is basically a more activated product compared to the micro fragmented adipose tissue. So the MFAT, the cells that are present in there, the progenitor cells, the stromal cells, the stem cells, whatever term is gonna be used, those are not fully activated. They're still kind of quiescent in their niche. Some of them are going to be from the mechanical agitation, but the theory is just that it's not all of them that are activated, some are quiescent. And then when we inject and they start to go through the healing process, then they can become activated. Whereas with the nano fat, because we are causing so much mechanical stress to the tissues, that we're actually getting more activation of those cells such that they're now understanding that they need to do something. And so they'll already start to produce their extracellular vesicles and their exosomes and things like that before they're even re-injected back into the body.